Have you ever wondered how to take a simple photo and transform it into a fully animated talking character? Or maybe you've dreamed of bringing an image to life completely from scratch. Well, the truth is, it's much easier than you think. And in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step through the entire process of how I create my AI character from scratch, animate it, and even add lip sync all with free AI tools. Now, I already made a video about this before, but today I'll show you an updated method that anyone, even complete beginners, can follow. If you've ever thought about starting a faceless YouTube channel, or maybe you're a little camera shy but still want to show up powerfully online, this tutorial is perfect for you. With your AI animated character, you can create unlimited content whether it's podcasts, storytelling, relationship talks, tutorials, or motivational videos, without ever showing your real face on camera. Sounds interesting, right? Let's dive in. The very first step to animating your character for free is creating your avatar. And for this tutorial, we'll be using ChatGPT. If you don't already have ChatGPT on your phone, no worries, just grab it from the Play Store or App Store. Once it's installed, go ahead and open it up. Now, let's say you want to create an avatar that actually looks like you. Click on the photo icon, choose a photo from your gallery, and upload a clear headshot photo of yourself. And then type in a prompt like this. Prompt example. Can you generate a photo maintaining the same face of the uploaded character facing directly at the camera, in the same studio, but with a cream white background. She is dressed in a bright orange turtleneck sweater with the inscription, Newly Studio, printed in bright blue on the chest. Her hands are visible. Of course, you don't have to stick to this exactly. Make it your own. You can add an art style, cartoon, Pixar, anime, or even hyper-realistic. Now, you'll notice I didn't add any specific art style here, because I'm already working with a 3D avatar of myself, which I'll show you later how I made it. And that's the base I use for all my avatar creations. Where I wrote Newly Studio, you can swap in your own channel name. You can also experiment with background colors, add a microphone, change outfits, or even throw in props to match your unique style and brand vibe. Once your prompt is ready, just hit enter. And here we go. Let's check out the result. Wow, this is beautiful. I love this picture. It really looks like me. Now, if yours didn't come out quite the way you wanted, don't worry. Just regenerate it until you get something you love. That's exactly how I created my digital avatar. I started with my real photo, told ChatGPT to turn it into a 3D avatar, and adjusted the prompt until I got the version that felt right. So if your first try doesn't hit the mark, don't feel bad. Just keep tweaking your prompt until you're happy with the result. This final image is now my go-to base digital twin. I use it to generate all my avatars for videos, thumbnails, and more. Here's another example I created from the same 3D avatar, just with a different prompt. And don't worry, I'll leave all the prompts I used in the video description so you can try them out yourself. For now, I'll go ahead and save this photo to my phone. So the next step is to animate our character. Now, there are a few different tools you can use, like Halo AI, Kling, or Grok AI, but for this tutorial, we'll be using Runway ML. Simply type Runway ML in your browser. Here, you can either sign up or log in using your Google account. When you log in for the very first time, you'll be given 125 free credits. That's more than enough to create your first animated avatar. And here's the cool part with this method I'm teaching you. Once you've created an avatar, you can reuse it for other projects. All you need to do is update the lip sync. Pretty awesome, right? So this is the Runway ML dashboard. Click this icon to upload your photo. In this text box, simply write a prompt describing what you want your character to do. For example, in this one, she's confidently talking to viewers, using hand gestures, and explaining something on screen. Just type in your idea, hit generate, and boom! Your animation is ready for Greview. Now, this looks good, but personally, I think she looks a little too serious. So let's tweak it. In the prompt, I'll add passionately talking to the viewers.
Hit generate again, and let's preview. Much better. I like the hand gestures. It feels more lively. And remember, if you don't like the result, you can keep tweaking until it matches your style. When you're done, just click download. Now, I noticed recently downloads work a little differently. Runway sends it through social media apps instead of saving directly. I'll choose WhatsApp, save it in HD, and then download it to my phone. But here's the catch. Our animated video comes with a watermark. Aww. Don't worry, we'll remove it. Head over to this website. I have a full tutorial on watermark removal if you want to dive deeper. For now, I'll upload one of the videos we just made. You can either use the brush or the rectangle tool. I'll go with the rectangle. Highlight the watermark area, hit remove now, and boom. It's gone. Let's preview. Perfect, no watermark anymore. Next, we can enhance the video. This step is optional, but highly recommended to make your animation look sharper. Just upload your video to the enhancement tool, wait for it to process, and download the improved version. Now, let's add a voiceover. You can use your own voice or try AI-generated ones. There are several free tools like ClipChamp, Eleven Labs, or Filmora. But for this tutorial, we'll use Google AI Studio. When you open it, this is the interface. Select Native Speech, click the icon, and set it to Single Speaker. From here, pick a voice you like. There are plenty of options. I'll paste in my prepared script, make a few quick edits, and then hit Run. A few moments later. Hey, my awesome viewers, it's Newly. First of all, it And just like that, the voiceover is ready. Click the download icon and it saves directly to your gallery. Now for the final step, lip syncing. We'll be using Dreamface for this tutorial. If you don't already have it, grab it from the Play Store or App Store. You can also get free access through my Telegram channel. The link's right there in the description. All right, let's open it up. Here's the interface. Go ahead and click on Video Lip Sync. I already have an avatar set up here, but let's click this avatar icon so we can upload one of the videos we just animated. Now, you'll see a few different options. You can type in your script. When you click this, you can paste your script here and choose from a huge library of voices. You can even clone your own voice. Check out mine here. You can import a generated voiceover or simply record your own voice. Since we already have a voiceover ready, we'll use the import option for this tutorial. Click on import, then choose the file option. Let's find the file we just downloaded, import it. Let's preview it. Hey, my awesome viewers, it's Newly. Sounds perfect. Now, click animate, then animate again. A few moments later. Hey, my awesome viewers, it's Newly. First of all, if you're already subscribed, you are the real MVP. Thank you for rocking with me and supporting this journey. And if it's your very first time here, welcome to Newly Studio. This is the place where we learn, grow, and earn together. If that's your vibe, go ahead and hit that like button. And boom, your character is now perfectly synced with the voiceover. Smooth, realistic, and absolutely stunning. See how easy that was? Now you can create animated characters for free, reuse them, and bring your ideas to life with almost no effort. And if you're camera shy like me, look, there's officially nothing stopping you anymore from creating that content you've been dreaming about. If I can do it, you can do it too. In fact, I'm holding you to it. If you found value in this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss my future uploads. Got any questions? Drop them in the comments. I'm always happy to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.